In this video, we're going to go over true twit validation. And if you've been paying attention to the uh, PJNet Twitter Bootcamp tutorial series, uh, you have been following people that are number one of like mind and number two have been active on Twitter within the past 24 hours. That means they've either tweeted or retweeted. So if you do that enough, sooner or later you're going to get a direct message like this indicating that so-and-so uses true twit validation to validate click here and then a link now some people are indignant that they have to uh, verify that they're a human being and if you feel that way uh, that is certainly understandable but keep in mind that you have already followed that person and that person only wants to follow back apparently uh, human beings so I do uh, go through the two true twit validation and it's very simple uh, you just click on the link as it's provided and that takes you to a validation page that has a challenge and you just have to type in either something that will prompt you to type in something and I'm going to say no and you say not a bot Now, in this case, they want me to answer a rather complex thing, so I'm going to refresh it. I can't see that one very good. I'm going to keep refreshing it till I can see one that I can read. This one is particularly difficult. Okay, here we go. G O O Z H O O. Uh, frankly, most of them aren't that complicated, uh, but in this case, it says I have done so. So I simply close that tab and what I do is delete the direct message after I have validated so that I don't accidentally go try to validate again and get a message that I'm already validated. That's all there is to it and if you validate a true twit user they are paying for that service and I think there's a very good likelihood that they will follow you back.